Good morning. My name is Michelle and I'm here for my second weight loss blog on low carb eating. I've been enjoying um, other YouTubers, especially Allison is so fat or however she calls herself. She's a lovely woman and very entertaining and very easy to watch and I'm really excited about what she's doing in her life and I've, I've been just been watching so many of your videos and I'm getting so inspired so I decided to do another one of my own with one of my recipes. Now you may not think this looks so great but it is so fantastic and once you get used to eating low carb I do have to say one thing I'm 51 years old and I've been fat most of my life up and down up and down I've been as low as 135 pounds I've been 150 pounds I've been 170 pounds I've been 220 pounds, I've been 280 pounds, I've been 293 pounds. That's my highest weight. My lowest weight was 8 pounds, 9 and a half ounces. So I've been up and down the diet gamut, and I feel like when you're fat and you're older, you know a lot about diets. And since I've been on so many diets, I've been on the fruit diet. Oh, wait a minute, is this recording? Oh, yeah. I've been on the fruit diet, and I've been on the all egg diet and I've been on Gwen Shamblin's escape from wherever thing through the church I've been Weight Watchers I've been free to be thin I've been oh gosh you name it I have been on it but the one that I always keep coming back to and the one that I lose the most on all the time faithfully is the low carb diet now different bodies are made different ways so um, for me, low carb works the best. I have tried high grains with a lot of veggies called Cybervision, and that one I lost about 60 pounds on, but I was riding my bike about 10 miles a day, and I was eating nothing but fruits, grains, just a little tiny bit of meat, but mostly fruit, grains, beans. Now that diet worked, and I felt great, but I had a lot, a lot, a lot of gas. I had a lot of heartburn. And that's one thing I suffer with a lot in my life is heartburn. When I'm on the low carb dieting, I can go on the low carb dieting for two days and my heartburn is completely gone. Now, if for no other reason, I should want to be on it because of my heartburn because that's very miserable to have heartburn. So anyway, with no further ado, I have to get to this video of what I'm eating. I love sauces and gravies and all this kind of thing. You're going to look at this and you're going to think, Ugh, this looks disgusting, but it's really good. And where I got the idea was, I got it from a uh, Victoria Principle book a long, 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 long time ago. And she said to take a chicken breast, put it in water, and just cook it. You know, the boneless, skinless, they're out there. The frozen ones, they're the best. If you don't have a George Foreman grill, get one. They're the best. But anyway, you take those and you put them in some water and you just let it baste in there and simmer a little bit then you take that out of the water now this I didn't use water this I used a little tiny bit of margarine you can use olive oil or whatever but with the hamburger and this one you really don't need that much oil or with other you know stuff like that but anyway you take the chicken you take it out of the water you put green peppers in there you put onions you cook them get them all cooked up nice if it's too much water just pour some of the water out and that sauces will just go in there and then just pour some sour cream in and it makes a gravy and is the most delicious thing and so I've done it with steak now I'm trying it with hamburger and in here I also put eggplant green beans onion garlic I got fresh garlic from a friend and I've been using garlic to like it's going out of style in everything because it gives everything such good flavor and something else you can add and I also put yellow squash in here something else you can add is paprika I mean uh, well paprika will seal in the flavor but um, cayenne pepper if you like it hot and spicy you can also do that and it will give your taste buds a boost one thing about protein I've got to say like if you eat eggs and cottage cheese one of my favorites right now is cottage cheese with blueberries mmm with a little bit of saccharin I prefer saccharin because in the beginning there was a doctor called Dr. Stillman he was right around, I think he started right around Atkins but he was the first real Atkins and he would say all protein and hardly and I don't think you had anything else you had eggs fit and fish meat chicken uh, cottage cheese 
cheese, water, tea, coffee, that kind of thing. But no sugars, nothing else, just protein. And you would lose a tremendous amount of weight. You know, wrestlers in school, I knew a wrestler in school one time, and if he wanted to get down to another weight class, he would eat nothing but meat and run and drink water. And he could be down in 10, 10 pounds in two days to go to the different weight class. Because protein is a food that will keep your body full. It'll keep your body full for a long time. So if you have two hard boiled eggs in the morning, I know in time you'll be saying, Ugh, I can't stand one more bite of this egg. I got to the point where I could not eat an egg quite years ago. I had to just eat the yolk. I mean, I was just so disgusted by the whites. It's just, ugh, it gets to the point where you just eat that. One time I went on a fruit juice diet where you drink fruit juice. The first day, all apple juice. The second day, all grapefruit juice. The next day, you know, whatever, whatever, so on and so forth. Well, the fifth day was carrot juice. And I smelled that carrot juice. It was in a can in a store. Maybe it's better fresh. I don't know, but it was carrot juice. And I swallowed that. I thought, I smelled it, and I thought, ugh, if I drink it fast, then it'll go right down fast, and I won't think about it. I drank it fast. It went down. As soon as it hit here, it came back up. And so that was the end of the juice diet. So now I eat low-carb which I'm going to show it to you. I know it looks disgusting, but it's what I said it was. I cooked the onion, I cooked the hamburger, I cooked the, the green beans and the pepper. I mean, you can put peppers, any kind of veggies really that you have, you can use if you want to. You just cook those all, and then you, uh, after you cook them, you drain off the, the fat, because if you don't, it's just too much fat in there, and it's just gross. But you drain off the fat, and then you just pour in a few tablespoons of sour cream, and it is the bomb. It is just like, let me taste it right now, just so you can see the look on my face when I say, mmm, vitamin of vegemin. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's tasty, too. Just like candy. And it really is. It's really delicious. And with chicken, mmm, it's the best. I undercook my vegetables a little bit so they're a little bit crunchy and it makes them taste so sweet. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta try this eggplant because I got it on sale. And I have never been a big eggplant lover, but I'm gonna try this. Let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. But. I will eat this, and this is quite a bit of food. If I get full, if I get full, I'll just leave half of it and then eat it later, heat it up. Um, so anyway, if you're looking for a good way to lose weight and a fast way to lose weight, this is my third week on the diet. I'll weigh, well, is it my second week? No. Monday I've been on it 14 days, so coming up, I'm, I'm on my third week now. And so Monday I'll weigh. Tomorrow's my weigh day. Woo! But the first week I lost seven pounds. The second week I lost one. And I think it's because I was drinking grapefruit juice. No more grapefruit juice, kids. 32 grams of carbs in one cup. Wow. So I think that's where it threw me off. The next week I only lost one. But I've been concentrating on low-carb veggies, green beans, squash, all that stuff. A lot, most of the green vegetables, lettuce, uh, onion, lean meats, eggs, cottage cheese with blueberries, the best treat of all. And I found that if you eat a lot of low carb desserts, that'll just increase your craving for more. So it's better if you just eliminate them. Eliminate your sweets, eat some cottage cheese with some saccharin on it. It'll take the place of that sweet tooth and I'm excited about what I'm going to do on this thing because I think that I've got the answer now. YouTube, I've started an MSN group, support group for all my fat friends, and I've had three join me, and I'm just really excited, and I've seen all these people on YouTube that are losing, and I'm going to be accountable to you, and I'm going to lose this weight once and for all. I'm 51 years old, I just had a grand, brand new grandbaby. And the time is now, and I'm tired of being fat and tired and lazy and sick and depressed. And I want to be happy and full of life. Bye.